Or we've seen social media posts claiming that other airlines are taking advantage of the Southwest meltdown, charging sky high prices as people try and rebook. We did some digging and this is what we found. You can see here a one way flight from Louisville to Phoenix in the next couple days will cost you more than $600. That's one way climbing even higher to $1,000 if you choose United Airlines. In comparison, next weekend, January 7th, you can book a one way flight for just $100. And we talked with the University of Kentucky economics professor about the rise in other airline prices. Mike Clark told us this is a typical pattern given how much demand has shifted away from Southwest. You know, what we're basically seeing is a major supply disruption. And when that happens, there tends to be a shortage in a market. And in this case, you know, we're seeing that. And when there's a shortage in the market, prices tend to go up. American and United Airlines have responded to their sky high prices for some flights after passengers complained on social media. Both airlines said they are capping ticket prices, but only in select cities, which explains why here in Louisville passengers are still seeing high cost. Now Clark says part of the issue could be other airlines adjusting for added costs and strains put on their end. They're seeing people are willing to pay these higher prices. But they're also having to look at can we move our our, our planes around? Can we uh, offer more flights? And it's costly to do this. And so they're looking at the cost to be able to accommodate or, or, or basically pick up the slack uh, from Southwest not being able to maintain its flights. Now, Clark says he would hesitate to consider this at all to be price gouging, saying it's simply supply and demand working as it's supposed to, given there is still plenty of competition in the market.